Yes, it's time once again for an, another EDET 620 Educational Technology Information Presentation. This particular presentation is going to focus on skill-specific strategies that you as an educator might use to help facilitate um, outcomes that represent some of the different types of, of learning uh, presented in the video previous to this. Remember that all of these presentations are designed uh, to help you accomplish the overall course goal, which is to address the question, how can teachers use technology to improve their professional practice? And if you remember, there are four specific areas that the course is going to be uh, focusing on uh, with respect to the use of technology and improving um, teaching. And those include instruction, community building, management and support, and professional development. This particular presentation is associated with um, specific ways in which you as an educator might use technology to help improve instruction. And more specifically, if you also recall from one of the previous presentations, there are many different elements within the instructional process that influence and affect how, how effective a learning experience might be for an individual learner. Well, this particular presentation is going to be focusing on the types of activities and information presentation that might be included within a particular learning environment. Now also, again, recall from the previous video that we have classified um, learning outcomes into four broad areas or categories, and those include verbal information, intellectual skills, attitudes, and motor skills. And so this presentation is going to focus on specific instructional strategies that can be used to help facilitate these types of skills. Now before I begin with verbal information strategies, I do want to emphasize and, and remind you that this presentation only reflects a portion of the strategies that are presented in the course notes. So there are other strategies that can be used to help support the learning of these specific outcome types. But this presentation focuses on just, just a few strategies per, per type so that you get the, the, um, the idea that, that there are specific strategies for different types of, of learning outcomes. Now for verbal information, one of the most important things you can do as an educator is to present the verbal information to be learned um, within complete sentences. That way the verbal, the verbal information um, is represented in, within the language structure that, um, that the learners understand. So this particular example um, uses the term verbal information as something to be learned and um, it, the, um, the sentence represents a complete sentence. Another important strategy for learning a verbal information outcome is to try and relate the new verbal information to be learned to something that you, you are fairly confident the learners already know and understand. So in this particular example, the word equivocal, equivocal, that's kind of a hard word to say, um, but it can be broken down into terms that are probably familiar with the learners. Uh, that's, so that's, that's an example of relating um, verbal information to be learned to something that you think the learners already know. Another important um, strategy for helping learners acquire verbal information skills um, are to pr provide um, clear examples of the verbal information being learned. For example, you may not be able to guess what these three different um, graphics represent. It may be kind of small in the little YouTube video um, window, but these are different examples of the, the concept or the, the term, the verbal information term postmodern. So we have architecture, art, and fashion. So if, you, if learners were going to be learning the definition of postmodern, it would help them to learn that definition to have examples in their mind of what the term actually represents. Now for intellectual skills, even though there are different types of intellectual skills, there are some general strategies that are applicable to learning all the different types of intellectual skills, discriminations, concepts, um, rules, higher order rules, and, and some of these strategies include providing very clear examples. 
So here we have some examples of insects, and insects would be a, um, a concrete concept, and we can point to examples of, of insects. We also have non-examples, or something that is not an insect, um, is also another important and viable strategy um, for learning a lower level intellectual skill. Another strategy um, in learning intellectual skills is to is to break the, the 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 rules to be learned into steps, and so here I have a picture of of some ingredients that one might um, might uh, use to make chili. And if you were going to teach somebody the steps involved in following a recipe or 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 making something specific, one of the steps that you might include, and that many chefs do, is to gather and acquire all of the ingredients before beginning the actual process or steps of of following the recipe. So presenting um, specific steps is an important um, is an important element of learning um, intellectual skill rules. Also, providing guidance for the in the early stages of practice is another very important strategy f um, for learning um, intellectual skills. So, and again, the notes have other other specific examples, but these are these are um, these are just a few. Now, in in strategies that address the acquisition of attitudes or choices that that students might make of their own volition, um, include. Um, one strategy is to provide instances in which attractive people are making the choices associated with the attitudes that you're trying to facilitate. And attractive generally means physically attractive people, famous people, or people who can who the students can relate to because they're part of their part of their peer group. So here we have some. Um, some um, motivational posters that may influence and affect the attitudes of reading. Also, it's important in learning attitudes to, to help the learners understand where in their own personal lives they make choices that are associated with the attitudes that are being, being presented. So here we have some examples of, of a menu or of, a, or of the nutritional information found on, on product labeling. And as, again, if you were trying to facilitate attitudes associated with making better choices regarding, um, regarding nutrition, then it would be important to point out when and where in the students' lives they make such choices. And finally, another strategy for, um, for facilitating attitudes is associated with clearly communicating the rewards that are found for people um, who who make the choices that you are trying um, to influence uh, for your learners? In this case, we have we have some bylines that are that are identified for for authors who are who are journalists, and certainly one of the rewards for 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 choosing to go into a profession like that that involves writing would be would be getting some kind of recognition for the work that you do. So that's another important strategy. And again, the notes have, have other strategies as well. And finally, the last category of, of, of skill type uh, are motor skills and some of the strategies that are used to um, help improve the overall effectiveness of learning motor skills include, first of all, um, demonstrating for the learners a successful um, motor routine execution. So, so clearly demonstrating what the learners are expected to be able to do. Another strategy includes breaking a, a, a difficult um, motor skill routine down into, into subroutines that are easy to follow or steps, um, hence the steps in the graphics. And finally, the use of visualization, having learners go through motor routines in their head has been has been proven to be an effective strategy in helping to improve overall overall motor skill performance. And so these just represent some of the strategies that can be used that, that are specific to the learning of specific skill types. And again, I, I want to encourage you to look in the course notes to examine some of the other ways 
um, in which there are specific strategies that can influence and affect le uh, the learning of specific skill types. And the next project that you are going to do is going to ask you to address the, the, the creation of specific strategies for specific skill types.